Hi, this is Danielle Zana here. Yeah. And we're doing a vlog because I feel that I need to express myself about this issue. And yes, it's about extraterrestrials and it's about the anti-extraterrestrial agenda. I'm, I'm actually absolutely so f sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it to the point that... Um, um, it is, there's just so much out of it there that much for me to handle and people just sucked into it. Now the thing is people have an experience first hand end with an extraterrestrial and um and most of it is just all media hype and everything. But bring it back to the subject while well, Nate covers that sort of thing a bit later or while I'm going through the whole thing. Well this chap that um had blocked me um earlier this year or something like that on the grounds of actually speaking up um, about this and um, this issue and um, apparently he's unblocked me and um, and somehow uh, because um, he's in my circles on Google Plus um, I get his feed and I saw something based on a movie um it kind of like um discreetly promotes anti extraterrestrial uh, agenda uh, making the extraterrestrials like being boogeymen in flying sources but um and this is not apparently so in in real life but apparently this is what the movie is about and um it's a recent new movie it's entitled extraterrestrial and um that's what it's called. I'm just trying to think where I am um, at the moment. I tend to start it like this. Uh, because I'm actually tired, I'm exhausted, I'm fed up. And um, so basically, um, I've actually blocked the chap and I, I just don't want to continue arguing. So I thought I would just make it into a discussion for a vlog. Uh, this time, you know. He was wanting me to block him, and I eventually did. I've given them the favour, and pff, at least I don't have to worry about it. I'm expressing expressing myself in the blog, and it'll be all over a few hours, and um, I'm gonna have a, have a rest. I'm gonna snuggle with my kitty cat, and that's it. Um, so basically, the movie's uh, about um, it's titled Extraterrestrial. It's a recent movie. Um, I wouldn't buy um, spend money on something like that. Because I had more or less an idea what it might be about, you know, this regular mainstream abduction bullshit. But uh, I was bored, and uh, I, I was really bored, but I just wanted to take a break from my artwork and chill and watch a movie. And I like watching science fiction, uh, fantasy stuff, but out of curiosity, I wanted to see what, you know, what this movie is all about, how they were going to express this um abduction crap and um downloaded it um torrented it and then watched it and um um it wasn't really flattering at all so basically i'm going to go through um what i had posted and how i expressed myself uh, it was reaching a point where um um I was I, I I just couldn't really think up all the words and things um, at the time because I was starting to develop an anxiety attack. When I develop an anxiety attack, I see because because I see um, and think in images um, to try and express myself in words. I find it very difficult to do, and um, I tend to you know sort of have like a brain freeze and like and I panic and um, and I thought blocking was the best way to get out of it but uh, apparently I, I could have actually said, stayed more but the thing is I wasn't in my right state of mind I was getting anxious I wasn't calm um, and the thing is uh, especially when when I've been expressing you know he's been watching me on Google Plus and especially when I've been expressing that is the difference between belief knowing and understanding and um i'm i'm going through this again like a you know like over and over and nobody seems to cut none you know with me i say 
I don't believe in extraterrestrials. I know they exist. I because I've experienced a few firsthand, and um, and I understand there's a much more of a diversity out there due to the amount of stars um, that it, that stretch across the galaxy, and then in galaxies stretching all the way across the universe through infinity, and um, which is a lot of planets, a lot of life forms, a lot of people. It's just really um, populated uh, in a sense. Um, it's not that it's like um, Earth is the only planet um, in the entire universe where the well, well, what you consider to be universe is another debate altogether uh, when referring to the um, the traditional term universe one means uh, one of everything. Uh, but people like to quantize things and um, so basically people perceive what is a universe and then anything that's out of this boundary that they create um then there's multiverses and so on um so basically it's sort of like a definition understanding thing and um and so on and so forth so i'm also going to cover certain things and um and um i'm also going to look up things like you know, the definition and origins of the word alien as well because I've been going on about this you know extraterrestrials is the most um, what I'd say recognisable name now I'm, because of this movie I just I feel like actually trashing the word extraterrestrial altogether and because um, basically this movie kind of like demonised or made the extraterrestrials appear as boogeymen and um so um um Ilham is still quite a neutral term at the moment until that gets uh, contaminated by some stupid idiots with this old fallen angels and religious crap because um much of the history uh, that survived the ages kind of like survived through religious texts and that's like basically the historical document unless you do archaeology um, then you can get kind of get like a separate uh, perspective analysis of um, what life was like in the past uh, way back, um, you know, a few thousand to a couple of thousand years. So that, that's what I'm going to say, and I'm going to uh, bring it. I'm going to go through the thing. Is I managed to screenshot the entire um, thing, and um, I'll go through it. And I'll view my points and all that. So there we go. Um, this is the, the chat we posted. This is the um, uh, the, the post. It's about um, uh, this movie, uh, Makes It Terrestrial. And um, as you can see, um, um, it's kind of like, you know, a horror sci-fi movie, kind of like demonizing extraterrestrials. Um in a sense, um, I know it's just a, a fictional movie, uh, but the thing is, the, the more motive about it, especially where the um, most um, media, um, as you go to the websites and all that, it's all this um, uh, abduction crap, and, um, and it also relates, you know, basically the whole allies of humanity and things like that. Um, they will kind of like bite into this and use this movie as a an example to amplify their political motives. Um, so basically, I'm going through it. Um, a person, this um, lady says, I've already seen it, and then I'll say, I watched it pretty damn making extraterrestrials look like monsters. Well, which is basically what I'm, which is quite true. And then he says. If you've ever met an extraterrestrial, but you haven't, um, you know, I thought this chap will already know that I've actually had my own experiences, but apparently he does, probably doesn't think they happened. Which is fair enough, because uh, I wouldn't like, you know, it's, I just don't want people to believe me on basis of pure faith. Um, but um, but you kind of like, you know, tell me out the blue that I haven't when I have mentioned it. Um, that I have had experiences, um, 
um, with a few extraterrestrials. Um, um, it's, you know, that's why I responded to say that I have met extraterrestrials, not aliens, only in the computer game besides my still mother is an extraterrestrial. Now, um, this is, this, again, you know, the whole term with aliens and extraterrestrial. Um, I'll actually recall it up. Actually, the Collins Dictionary kind of like gives a better idea. Uh, definition of alien. Uh, just come on, work. Okay. Um, okay. Belonging to a foreign country. Right, that's one. And fully unfamiliar and disturbing or distasteful. Right. Um, a foreigner, especially that's not used to cut this in. As you know, the whole term, um, um, actually Oxford, I've got the Oxford on my tablet, um, it kind of like brings, um, it, it, um, I can't remember where it was, it's on my tablet, uh, um, well, it mentions, um, I'll actually have to actually screenshot it and I'll put it in the video. Um, so you can see it. Um, I'm just gonna get my right. It's actually got an actually a brilliant definition, and the definition gives you actually the clues of its uh, origins, um, of why um, the term came out to uh, be in existence. Alien means belonging to a different country, race, or group, usually one. You do not like or are frightened of formal disapproval. Um, he said they were opposed to the presence of alien forces in the region. That is referring to the, the term that is commonly associated with industrial military complex. As you use alien to describe something that's strange and perhaps frightening because it's not part of your normal experience. His work offers a insight to into an alien culture. Um, it, if something is alien to you or to your normal feelings of behavior, to the way you would normally feel and behave. An alien is someone who's not a legal citizen of a country in which I live. So it all boils down to um, the term of being foreign, immigrant, other countries, borders, boundaries, countries, or the segregation that actually happens on this planet. And um, all this is kind of like supports the industrial military complex kind of idea. So, there we have it. Um, there from the, the tablet. Um, and they've changed the, the, it slightly on the web, but um, the tablet is pretty good because it, um, it has, it's a nice app and it's, you know, nice. I just have to... Um, screenshot it okay hold that oh bugger just gonna hold it again okay why is it not screenshotting for hold that then oh it's okay it's not going i just have to freaking edit this video um Hold that down. Home. It's actually not working. There we go. I've got the photo. Right. Um. Um. And as I've met extraterrestrials, um, did you've met extraterrestrials in the in the alien in the game? I've actually met real extraterrestrials. Aliens in computer games, because that's considered aliens, because that's what they call the fucking things, characters in the game. And they're not real, they're all basically some world imagination of concoction of ideas. Um, you know, perhaps, you know, when going through a biology book of metamorphosis and somebody thought, wait, hmm, let's kind, of, let's kind of get creative with this, and why don't we create an imaginary creature that follows us? follows a strange sort of metamorphosis, turn it into a horror, and blah, 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 the alien franchise was born. 
and um, and that's the whole you know thing. And I, and I said, I've told you, extraterrestrials in real life, aliens in computer games, comprising of xenomorphs, chessbursters, space huggers. And then he said, so the term alien is not good enough for me, and I still have no idea what you're talking about. He's trying to dismiss the subject there. Um, so, for I figure, you've played video games with aliens, Halo. I said, no. My term is, uh, yeah, I'm trying to bring the subject back on track again. I dislike the term alien to be used against people from other solar systems. And, and due to its origins, means, and inventions of the industrial military con- complex and the seg- seg- segregation of people in different plots of land on this planet. Nope, I haven't played Halo. However, played much of the Aliens games like AVP 1 and 2, uh, well, 3 as well. Um, Colonial Marines and recently Alien Isolation. I've also played Mass Effect Trilogy as well. And actually, in the Mass Effect, they I think they use well, they do use. I think the people that don't like uh, the extraterrestrials uh, say, "Oh, you, you, um, you know, you love your aliens," kind of thing. You know, <laughs> that's what um, happens in the game. Um, and I got that a lot from the characters because I saw, you know, in virtual reality that they were like my friends and everything. That was why you make the galaxy all come together and one and live in peace happy ever after kind of thing. And uh, defending it from the um the reapers and uh, the collectors and all that crap. Right. Um I agree it's de- dehumanizing, however characters in a video game are fictional and not real, regardless if they're extraterrestrial or not. Science fictional beings from other planets are just fictional as characters from fantasy stories imagined by people before they understand that other worlds are different planets, rather than imaginary, well, that says my typing going all funny, fantasy realms. The xenomorph, for example, is not based on real sentient organism, but is a, created by a pure imagination by someone who pays for biology for covering topics of metamorphosis and created an imaginary organism, which I mentioned earlier. And then in the chapters, alien isolation is based on the on the film. Oh, well, it's the same same thing, Alien Isolation, you know, that's the whole franchise, you know, idea. The above film is a work of fiction, yeah, I agree with that. I still fail to see how the film... The reason is because the film is trying to portray a real-life thing from, you know, gathering up crap in the media about abductions and crap. It's no different other hot users, Aliens and Bad Guys, other side to it. You know, the, but you don't even see the, the, the connection that... The person who created the video is trying to say that, you know, the extraterrestrials and the flying saucers are boogeymen. It's like, you know, if you go around YouTube and things like that, um, you even sometimes see YouTube videos with people screaming and shouting or saying invasion and blah, blah, blah. You know, it, it's, it's, um, it annoys the fucking shit out of me. And I'm sick of it. People feel the dark room closet, fear of the unknown. <sighs> and as mentioned, it's the way it's done. That's what I'm saying. It's the way it's done. Aliens occur in different storyline, which will follow the mass media of abductions, UFOs, thus preventing contact at all. Because because of the sphere, people get when they see a flying saucer. The first idea that comes to mind: abduction and invasion, rather than meeting a new friend or getting a free trip to view the Earth in orbit. Aliens is purely science fiction, whereas this movie is turning the extraterrestrial into a boogeyman, you know, like real, you know, extraterrestrials that, you know, fly by and all that. Um, and flies about in a flying just abducting people and probing, you know, there's one scene where there's this fucking um, heavy anal probe thing with the, with the chat dies, blood splattering everywhere and all that. I was like, well, what the fuck? Okay. Both are type of monster... You know, the real extraterrestrials are not monsters, but the ones in the sci-fi movies are. You'd not invite them home for tea. I agree, because abduction is bullshit. Maybe aliens and UFOs are bullshit. Well, you haven't seen anything. So, <laughs> you know, you haven't... You know, apparently, I don't even know why you're covering the topic if you say that. You know, or, oh, oh, I know why. Because you're making money from it. Duh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, are you saying that abductions are bullshit? Say that two thousand of people are on therapy. You obviously don't know the workings of Dolores Cannon. Before you start pointing your finger, firstly, I'm studying NLP neuropsychology. Second of all, I have an uncle who works for NASA for thirty plus years, <laughs> and there's a lot of things you have no idea about. So before you comment about things, educate yourself first. Look, you know. And then my response, you know, like they keep on forgetting, you know, I've met extraterrestrials, duh. You know, that's never happened to me. So, obviously, if it's never happened to me, yeah, most of the stuff is all made up. It's like, fuck. I say, I met extraterrestrials, I went up with them with my own free will, that, that is not abduction. Most abduction is a negative, I was supposed to be create uh, negative, I have, uh, you know, I type shit, you know, as I'm trying to think pictures into words. Oh, this, this shit happens. Uh, create is milliabs, I'm not extraterrestrials, yeah. Milliabs, yeah, that's the whole objective of the milliab thing of uh, industrial military complex is to carry out the experiments pretending that they um, are extraterrestrials and also pump in misinformation about extraterrestrials and fear because they don't want the inter extraterrestrials to intervene and people to know the truth about them. They want people to keep in the dark. That's why, you know, um, there's a lot of things people can, you can look at the money system. Um, there's one of them. Polit politics is another one. Democracy is another one. Uh, energy is a big one because that one, the, the energy, you know, because actually I think it's because the, the, when it relates to it, I think it's, it's because you know, they're so addicted to their money and their oil resources that uh, they want to just stick to that and because it's power and, I don't know, it, it's just, they like it. Uh, it, it we're just fucking up the planet. Uh, yeah, just fucking up the climate, it's fucking up the atmosphere. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of things you have no idea about. <laughs> I don't know things I have no idea about. But... I have extraterrestrial relatives, yes, I have extra, her name is Nalanya, she's my star mother, I'm hoping to actually see her come Christmas, but I think it's just going to be probably like last time, she's going to hover in a spaceship, uh, my mother's going to start doing scripture and shit like that, because she's like the type you see on YouTube where they say, you know, extraterrestrials are demons and fallen angels, and all that, you know, I don't want to go into the whole story about Ananya. I've mentioned it before. You can find it in my channel. And um, basically, I had footprints of her when she came visiting me when I was 11 years old. Those were inconveniently missing when we moved from one town to another. And um, and then also one of the artwork that I um, started to getting when I got inspired by Ananya what I've seen in the holograms that she showed me in my bedroom um, it kind of uh, put my mother on, into a point where she said it was a demon um, well Ananya was a demon and all that I read you if you can't see these characters in my visual appearance you can actually see in my face um, you know these certain characteristics that are not of this planet. And I, that's why when I'm walking through town and all of that, I get name called alien and, you know, should I even get called a freaking Klingon in some cases. Some people even call me Romulan because of my eyebrows. Either Romulan or Kling Klingon. <laughs> maybe, I'm a, maybe I'm a mixture between Rom Romulan and Klingon. Right, uh, and it says, Lady Donna, that is great, but you're not a doctor in psychology, medical fields. Do you have no idea? So basically, this person is trying to hide behind a doctorate degree to try and, uh, you know, I, I, what I see in this argument is money, profit. Um, making money out of the situation, kind of like working on the same sort of grounds on how exorcism works. That's what I feel. Um, it, it's all like you know, make, somehow making people to believe that what they experience is not what they experienced. You know, it's all part of the psychological thing with the industrial military complex, which is why, uh, well, you know, 
you know, it's just... Ah, yes, I know about free will. You know, if it's free will, it is not abduction. Duh. Now, how, what the... Uh, can you express free will abduction? No. So if you're somebody... So if you go in a taxi, you know, an abduction is when a van comes, they pick you up, chuck you in the back of the van, they take you to some dodgy area, and then they, chuck, they either kill you or they chuck you back again, you know. That is abduction. But if you phone up a taxi and it's a van, you get in the back of the van and they drop you at the destination or they take you back home again, that is not a fucking abduction. <sighs> So, because you are an Earth Doctor, you... I just have to keep on refreshing the memory because um, the video is just like... That's one thing I hate about fucking Mavericks. Okay. Um, so, because you're an Earth Doctor, you know all... Uh, you know, secondly, free will is not abduction. All the traumatic crap of millibs, you know, which actually happened in the genuine relative because they actually created biological entities from getting a DNA from the extraterrestrials at the time when they got crashed in Roswell and concocted the thing. So it makes the whole thing. It's even been proven that cow abductions is military and they keep on trying to use that um, straw man to, you know, say it's the extraterrestrials. Uh, anti extraterrestrial you probably be successful showing it, shoving it down, shoving it down the throats of your fellow Earth people Especially when money is issued, not a hybrid thing like myself. The, most of this media about abductions and crap like that, if you're on the websites and all that, it's all like buy this shit, buy that shit, buy the t-shirt, buy the book, buy the tape, buy the <laughs> CD, buy the DVD, buy the fucking Blu-ray. You know, it's it's all buy, buy, buy. Um, oh, some places you like buy the subscription. Uh, even though I do sometimes, I find about, you know, 60 to 70 percent of Dr. Greer's work um, authentic. Um, there's, there's quite a bit of bullshit in there as well. But, uh, um, go to the thing, you know, it's, it's all this buy this, buy that, buy this, buy this, buy that, you know, fucking buy shit, you know, money disease. And, and this is what ufology is basically <laughs> structured. It's not structured around the science of um, exobiology or uh, incorporating astrobiology, exobiology, actually will be better to term exobiology. Uh, we're not referring to about exobiology and exotechnology and things like that. No, 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 it's ufology, you know, you know buy this, buy this, you know, buy, buy, buy. And just because I mentioned that, it says you're being a bitch again, oh, you know. Um, basically, you know, try to detour the subject from my personal, um, from, from being personal, do something more focusing on the topic or the subject as a whole to cover, you know. Because as soon as, as, soon as something becomes personal and it's just bash, 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 anxiety attack, and that's what happened. And I said, no, the industrial military complex is a bitch, including the money system, not me. And have every right to protest against the anti extraterrestrial agenda. And it says, Oh, and now it's all of a sudden ETs. Yeah. And then it goes, Yeah. The ETs can hire their own image cons image consultants once they get yeah. Uh I don't what the fuck. Uh, uh I don't even know what you're talking about. As you are as for the industrial military, what do you care about people? You know what do I care about the industrial military? complex users, people can't follow it, you know, tosses a lot of bullshit in the media and things like that, you know, um, and then it creates a hatred towards extraterrestrials, which would later perhaps, they would like people to, you know, get them worked up for a war so they can actually go out and start doing planet bashing. <sighs> Aliens or tech or what you call them care, but you are dishing real people in real world. Dishing? What, what the fuck? Dishing? Means you carry on your cheerleading... What the fuck? I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, but I responded. The reason why I care about the issue is industrial military corporate is spreading bullshit about extraterrestrials to conduct another war. I am sick and tired of it. Tiny mind? 
the extraterrestrial gender is fucking stupid, and obviously you're sucked into it and promoting Exactly. Exactly. It's always changing the subject, making the subject more of a personal issue. So I can get anxiety, I get stressed out, so, you know, it's all focused on me, the individual. I am the, I am the black sheep, or I am the dark horse, you know. You know, I'm the faulty individual of the whole group kind of thing, you know. Uh, basically, um, I think it's the, the group that's fucked up. Seriously. If you think that you are just here to protest, tiny minded, maybe even a bit mad, mm. yeah, I, I, I'm really much against the anti extraterrestrial bullshit. I'm focusing my attention on, on the extraterrestrial bullshit. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be considered mad and crazy than being gullible and stupid, believing and absorbing all this sold crap that's been marketed. Um, marketed in the mainstream, I'm forgetting the word, what what to call it, centralized, centralization, where things are like centralized just, just to get viewers, watchers, subscribers so they can buy, 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 make, make money out of it. Let's make money out of it. Yeah. Because it annoys me. But you, and then basically, and then, then he starts twisting my words, you know. Saying now, because his thing of calling me mad and crazy didn't work, so it's basically distracting the top away from the topic and then focusing me on as an individual. That's a faulty P and the pod. Meanwhile, I'm, uh, it's the pod that's actually fucked up. But you are stupid and gullible because you you've bought. I didn't buy anything, yeah. I basically experienced it in my life. I didn't pay for it. You know, it just happened. I didn't pay for it. You're the shit that's buying this and buying that. Buy this DVD. Buy this T-shirt. Buy this book. You know, re you know, absorb all the crap. Um, well, we as a species will most likely die out before advancing to the point. Yeah, with this anti extraterrestrial crap. That is most likely that will happen. And, you know, it seems that you want it to happen that way. I know the vastness of use. We have already be dead and failed species of planet. No aliens. Now suddenly it's become aliens again. Yeah. Negative. Uh, aliens. Mm -hmm. Aliens. Um, even if they could. You know, the thing is, you've just done a recent post, you know, about extraterrestrial life, uh, extraterrestrial seeding life to the planet. And um, when you think about it, you know, extraterrestrial seeded life here, yeah, basically you can say they, and by engineered life here, yeah, so basically you can say they created life here, yeah, but um, um, whether you want to throw Darwinism in it or not, um, it's basically um, some sort of, you can say for definite extraterrestrial seed, extraterrestrial seed here, yeah. and um, as well, and you can follow the many ideas like throwing, you know, comets uh, into the earth and all that for the um, amino acids and things like that, and you know, and saying, you know, not saying this, basically extraterrestrials are, you know, watching, and that and they've put me on this fucking planet to actually analyze. Um, how people treat me and all that. Because I look more like them, they say, well, if 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 if, I, if they treat me, well, this, this, uh, for example, yeah, they treat Daniel, Zana, shit. Most likely they will treat us like shit. So are they worth it, worth saving? Will they contaminate the galaxy with their bullshit about money and exploit the resources or they um integrate and you know um blend in like um how organisms coexist in nature independent on each other will will humanity blend in like that um for you know follow natural law or will they try and go and, and act like a virus command conquer mission so basically, they have to decide on this first, and uh, if they see any positive changes and all that, they would pull up. The, they would, you know, 
intervene and you know help humanity out of the shit. If if the people don't shape up, um, like they will just let humanity just wither away, and that's it. And I, I'm and I've been expressing this for quite a while, and apparently you know you just can't see the bigger picture. Right, brought into construct really um brought into construct really, I'm just like what the fuck. Um I don't care about your assumptions about me and my experiences. Yeah, you know, which is true. I don't I don't give a shit if you believe me or not, but I'm just saying what I'm saying. You know, take it or leave it. Oh. Be what you want. But I'm not part of it. I'm not gonna be part of this anti extraterrestrial crap. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suck ass to it when I know better, when I have experienced better. It's like it's like um it's like me you know i've i know racism and all that um it doesn't mean i must now um join the ku klux klan or the fucking nazi party you know and this is what you're trying to say to me and i don't get it believe what you want but i am not part of it and i think all what matters is what i know and experience i don't give a fuck about you or anyone thinks about it it's just that's why I dress like the way I am, you know, because I'd rather express myself in my own style and everything. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. You know, fuck haters will be haters and so on and so forth. But yep, they uh, the extraterrestrials won't give a shit because too many people hate them, and which is true. And especially, you know, where it's basically even even my friends and my Google Plus and I'll, you know, after what I've mentioned and said is like oh we we will suck up to the anti extraterrestrial agenda because we think it's true we think the extraterrestrials are here you know exploiting us like how we exploit the planet you know blah 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 um in Korea I I'm sick of it which is why I keep myself busy in my art because yeah that's the thing is that there's even no point going on about this anti extraterrestrial thing or even covering planet issues because. There's some point that somebody's going to disagree with you, and they'll fight you for it. They will, they will they'll really drown you into the ground. Be it, you know, secret agents, trolls, whatever. So the best thing is just to, like, you know, say, you know, I know, especially when I have a bit of precognition, I see the future, um, what had been um, simulated by my brain from, you know, extracting events and things, and then the collective consciousness and all that. Simulate all this, and um, I have more or less an idea that the future is there's nothing, there's no future, and all that. And, um, and why, you know, there's a no point of, of you know, that's why I, I just can't handle it. I mean, I'm, that's why I have breakdowns because I can't handle it. So basically, what I do is I just do my art and I express my views in my art um, that extraterrestrials aren't the boogeymen that what the mainstream and all that crap say they are um, I just do it in my art and um, it, I, think, I think and I think you know art is a way to really um, have let people have a better perspective and of things because living on this planet is just bullshit. Exactly. I'm I'm just sick of the money system. I'm sick of the politics. I'm sick of the wars. I'm fucking sick of everything. I'm fucking sick of... I'm just sick of it. I'm just absolutely sick of it. And I try to provide solutions, awareness. And all you get is just more bullshit. And um, that's why I just tend to prefer to keep to myself. When I just say, fuck people, i just rather just, you know... Do what I enjoy, make the most of life, and and just see how it turns out. You know, I just take every day at a, at a step at a time. I try not to worry about the future because I just, I just, I just absolutely lose it. There, I just want to fucking kill myself. Um, and I have attempted before and all that. Uh, it's, it's okay now, now all of a sudden I'm making assumptions it's like you know recycling my words that's what it all is he just recycles my words uh, I, I just don't get it do you think E.T. Singapore about an honoured position uh, 
I've trained like this to get here and patiently ask to dance. They're not prom queens. But, you know, I've told them I've experienced, I've, I've met extraterrestrial. Duh, you know. <sighs> the thing, and people put a lot of emotion, tribal bonds, and power. We're just like ants and to construct space for the ego. So uh, uh, you know, it's, it's basically perceiving on the basis of of, of things that are on this shit planet. And I'm just, I just said, I experienced, and it's not like that. And you know, I don't know. And I mentioned that you know, I'm starting to get tired because basically this whole debate has gone into a loop. And I said. You don't know I have time. I don't have time for this. You're giving me stress and anxiety with your bullshit. I'm taking what I say, say throwing at me. So, yeah, basically it's recycling what I'm saying. For example, like, obvious one is this. Is, I'd rather be called mad and crazy than stupid and gullible. So then you use the term, oh, you're stupid and gullible. Blah, 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 blah. So it's basically recycling what I'm, you know, trying to say to back, you know, back myself up. And then you just throw in, and I'm trying to talk about the topic, and it's just always you, 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 you. And when I'm talking about it, 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 the topic, the anti extraterrestrial agenda, the, the, the bullshit. I'm talking about the bullshit, and yet you keep on saying, you, you rounding it off to me as an individual. Fuck this shit. And I just, I basically blocked him. And then he goes on. And this is why I meant to do a video because he just went to go on. And um, I just got a free up memory again. This fucking Mavericks. Oh. Okay, I just can't stand Mavericks. Uh, actually, Yosemite is worse, actually. Anyway, uh, Carl says it's constructed reality like religion. Oh, no, I'm not saying because I. No, it's saying because he still thinks I believe instead of what I know because what I experience and what I understand because of what I think and analyze and calculate and think in my mind the vastness of stars and planets now it's not, it's not gone you know the belief in something that you can't prove you know you know basically I don't believe it because I've experienced it you know the proof I had was when I was younger but my mother fucked it Got rid of it, so that doesn't leave me a, uh, leave me a leg to stand on, and I know that. But I know personally that I not believe it, you know. But but it's it's just now it's really pushing this belief thing. And it's just now it's talking about the the, the matrix pulls. Oh, you know. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, I think you've got. I think you've got. I've been to. I think you've gone to the wrong. The wrong pharmacy, to be honest. <coughs> right. I've oh, got the wrong prescription of blue and red pills. Okay, and then he goes, because I've blocked him, somehow I still managed to, you know, write to me, even though this didn't come in my inbox. Because Google Plus was, you know, took quite a while to slow and process the whole thing. And he says, that's just it. I don't care what you believe, you know. I, I, I don't know... I don't know if you get it. How many times have I mentioned about the difference between belief? You know, I, I get this. Every, I, sometimes it gets to the point where I just, I'm just wanting to fucking bang my head open on the, against the fucking wall, so my brain just splutter out, so I can die and escape this fucking misery of anxiety. And this is, I don't care what. It, Belief is believing something on pure faith. Uh, knowing is when you you know something, but um, by experience and understanding is when you can actually think about something in depth, thought, calculate. You calculate it, you think it, and you you, you see the bigger picture, the perspective, the vastness of the stars. Um, that's understanding. Knowing is when you, when you experience it yourself. Belief is when you just agree to something on the basis of pure trust, which is faith. I don't fucking believe it. I know and I understand. Duh. Like, how many times must I fucking repeat myself? <sighs> if you don't like 
what I like. If you don't like what I don't fucking like anti extraterrestrial gender. I don't like it. It's it's fascist. It's like it's like the fucking Ku Klux Klan. It's like the fucking Nazis. I don't like their ideology and I don't like the anti extraterrestrial thing. I just don't like it. Because it's bullshit and it's just demonizing it. Um, I'd like pack off somewhere else and stop trolling. I'm not trolling. I'm just like saying my views. You know, you're the one that's fucking trolling me because you're the one that fucking um, took my words where I'm focusing on the subject, the topic, anti-extraterrestrial gender and extraterrestrials and the viewpoints, the mass media, ufology, that thing. But yet you come and focus the point as me as an individual. You this, you stupid, you fucking crazy, you stupid, you dumb, you this, you that. That's what I'm getting from you. So I can't fucking handle it, so I fucking block you. Because, because you're basically targeting me where I'm basically focusing the topic on the fucking big subject. You fucking the topic, you focusing the topic on me. Telling people who comment on my posts. Uh, they have just as much. Yeah, they do have a right, but the thing is, I don't agree with the anti terrestrial They said, stop biting their arse off. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, what, what, what's the bigger picture? Oh, this is hate the extraterrestrials. When we come down, we're going to fucking shoot them out the sky. Shoot them out the air. Shoot them. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Oh, oh. really? I'm so... And when, they, when, they, when, they, when the UFO flies over... And it's and people see it. Oh, invasion! Oh, we're gonna die! It's the end of the world! Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna get abducted! I'm gonna get probed! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 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 Oh shit! The people that fly these these uh, extraterrestrial craft are scientists. They're artists. They see it like they're just watching, they're looking, and they are willing to have a chat if you, you know, let them. And um, that's why the whole idea of the embassy um, to be constructed is to try and avoid the anti extraterrestrial shit. So there's an embassy, so it all follows the whole, you know, that, that, that just shows you how, what respect the extraterrestrials have for Earth people. So they don't appear as evaders. They're right in order to um, remove the deception, the fear, the the bullshit. We would like to have an embassy, um, so that you know there's so people you know because people just think about countries, borders, boundaries. If anyone that's foreign that comes over, oh you know it's a fucking invasion or, or it it oh you know. Something like that, and uh, that's why the embassy. They would like to have an embassy, so there's like a neutral thing because some people just don't get it. Don't get it. like you. You don't fucking get it. And um, and this is why um, uh, you know have the embassy and all that. Um, so there we have. Stop there.